Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigval Grimm here and welcome to another artifact review. Today we're going to take a look at my uh, LexCorp warsuit and we're going to see it in action in Arena, in uh, Raids and in Soul Raids on uh, different themes. Mainly in Arena on two themes, in Raids and Soul Raids kind of on the same theme because uh, it, it gets the point across well enough on those themes. And uh, yeah, like the first thing about this is uh, talking about a little bit about what it does is going to give you a chance to have armor pierce on special attacks. I think it goes, um, if I'm not wrong, all the way or very close to 100% once it is max level. After successful special, are going to receive for 9 seconds uh, an increase uh, of 26% uh, of defense and tenacity that doesn't allow debuffs. The tenacity doesn't necessarily seem to work or the game doesn't perceive stun as a debuff because you can get stunned uh, while that is active. And you are going to get 0.9, of course that level is going to be a higher percentage damage for every 1% defense that your opponent has. And also are going to get plus 100% health. So... So far, when you look at it, it seems like a very strong defensive artifact. It gives you health, a lot of health to that. I think it gives the most health of all the artifacts that we got so far. And after you use a special, it gives you a shield with some defense. But at the same time, it gives you some attack and it gives you a chance to have armor pierce on special attacks. So getting into a footage, you might be surprised because I'm not using this on tanks. I'm using this on damage dealers and it's working very well. But yeah, with that being said, let's get into a footage. Okay, scattering it slow with some arena gameplay and I'm using here the multiverse team and I'll use it on multiverse armor supergirl like the alternative usually is to use uh, the all blades on multiverse armor supergirl but uh, over there the uh, uh, armor pierce didn't kick because I don't have 100% uh, uh, chance for it to do but the armor pierce is going to be very strong in arena like uh, th this guy has got entropy for some reason we very rarely see a dark side with entropy but the armor pierce that we're going to have on this is going to be amazing because just think about it the defense can uh, reduce all the way to 75% of your damage uh, making you deal one fourth of damage but if your ability is going to be turned to armor pierce then you're going to deal four times the damage you would normally do without an artifact and I don't think you can really get that value out out of all blades and on, uh, in arena talking about arena right now and on top of that all blades is not going to give you any defensive capabilities uh, but on the other hand take some health off of you so I've had a lot of fun in arena with this now I don't have to tag in and out my characters constantly as you can see in this fight even though the gameplay is not really on top in this particular one I'll admit it multiverse armor supergirl took a punch like if I had all blades on her or even class of horse or even no artifact she would have been dead a few times already but uh, this is really helping me stay alive for, for a very long time far longer than I would have stayed and it's also pulling in the damage you might not have been convinced because that dark side got entropy that was a weird fight let's go into another fight uh, so with all blades usually when there's a dark side my multiverse armor superhero without at the very least two or three stacks of all blades and that means stacking in and out three times is not able to punch through dark side shield but you can see there 158 damage on that dark side we're destroying stuff when that armor pierce triggers. You're literally destroying it. Now, let's take a look at some King gameplay. King, yet again, you know me, I have said in the past, King is such a great character for raids and swords, but I simply hate the character in Arena. Guess what? With this artifact on, I love to play King in Arena. I literally love to play King in Arena with that artifact. Look at that, the huge armor pierce damage over there. Like, this artifact for me, when it comes to putting it on King, literally turned one of the characters that I least like to play. Like, previously I would just play Shazam for the most part and sometimes tagging King, but right now I'm just playing mostly with King on, because I simply enjoy him far more after uh, I have gotten that artifact on him. But yeah, nevertheless he died there, but let's get into the next part. Okay, this is an artifact where this guy, my... Uh, Aquaman destroys this team like we wouldn't stand a chance to kill those guys this fast because they got a ton of armor uh, and health for Arkham Knight Batman at the very least when it comes to Brainiac and Batman like they got maxed out armor and the fact that we're going to be able to ignore that is going to be huge for us like this special 2 wouldn't have been a kill over there definitely wouldn't have been a kill going back into dark side King going to go for a special tree, and do you think it's going to be enough? Yes, it's definitely enough. That that special tree destroyed Darkseid. Now let's also take care of Brainiac real quick. 
Like, th this made King so enjoyable to me. Now we're using it on uh, Sol on Soul Raids as a damage dealing artifact against boss Batman because it's going to give us some attack, uh, it's going to give us armor pierce on our special tree and at the same time it's going to give us a shield and uh, talking about the defense capabilities of this one I think to an extent this is actually a better defensive artifact than let's say Firebox because uh, Firebox is going to give you a lot of health like at max level he still and with uh, let's say an uh, a meta human artifact on our character this is going to be able to regenerate like your health three times over but at the same time your character that's using firebox of course if you're not uh, granted if you're not using it in stories because over there you're going to get a huge amount of health but that character with firebox uh, over there my bad don't don't my the terrible gameplay points but that character with firebox even though it's going to be able to regenerate three times the health that he has might as well die the first time he gets hit with a big thing and not be able to regenerate. And uh, it's kind of the same problem that I have with the region matrix, re regenerating character after he dies, or with cosmic staff preventing more damage after you have already taken a sizable amount of damage. Like this thing with the shield that it provides uh, and with the health that it passively provides kind of prevents things before they happen and kind of guarantees that. Over here, if I was another artifact with the same amount of passive health, I would have died to a super move. But no, not today because I'm using the Lex Corp armor. And overall, in terms of damage, uh, we'll talk about the Krypton, the Krypton, Kryptonite Spear. And Kryptonite Spear on the very long run might be a better artifact in terms of damage. But as an overall artifact, like Kryptonite Spear is going to be most likely better than this one as a damaging artifact. Granted, you have like three max Kryptonian artifacts and Kryptonite Spear on your damage dealer. If not, then you're going to just use Tab and not care about any of this. So yeah, Kryptonite Spear is going to be better than this most likely in uh, the Kryptonian Story specifically. But I don't think Kryptonian Story specifically. This might be uh, this might be literally the best Kryptonian artifact, and we're not talking about the Beta Club, okay? We're not talking about the Beta Club because that thing is ridiculous. It's most likely going to get uh, nerfed. But yeah, if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna talk about it like that, then yeah. Other than the Beta Club, this might be the best Kryptonian artifact that we have, and one of the best artifacts in the game. Like, I don't know, I might be biased at this point because I'm having so much fun with this artifact that I'm literally having so much fun with this artifact, and it, it simply seems to be very, very useful to me. Like, don't get me wrong, usually in uh, Kryptonian Soul Raids, uh, I use my All Blades as my damage dealing artifact, but over here, obviously, I can't use All Blades, so I benefit far more from this. And I'm pretty happy with the overall performance of this, and keep in mind that this one is going to be uh, like only a level... Was it 3 or was it 4? I don't even remember. I might some. Um, I just showed it or previously. I even talked about this. My goddamn artifact. I might have some mental disabilities, but nevertheless, it's only a level 3 or level 4, so it will perform far better. Over here, you might see something strange. I got no classic Superman in this team, uh, and that's because I had the I have the Lex Corp on King over here. Uh, in order to uh, kind of use that to have armor piercing on my abilities and not need to use classic Superman. And if the if the Beta Club gets nerfed, because right now I think Beta Club is going to be the best artifact for Scarecrow, even if you're using King. But if the Beta Club gets nerfed, then the uh, then we might uh, see an armor pierce on basic attack skin build with a Lex Corp on because Lex Corp will uh, also uh, be able to give you armor pierce on your special attacks. Because when you're using classic Superman uh, with King against Scarecrow, like it's the best thing we got so far, I think. Like if uh, if we're disregarding this possibility with the uh, uh, Lex Corp armor. It's like the best thing we've got so far, but at the same time, uh, it's not great because uh, first of all, you have to waste a lot of the time of the fight, and second of all, it's not a guaranteed thing. Like your classic Superman, uh, it's not going to be safe at any point. Over here, I have the shield active, so this guy with this king that I'm using right here would kill me from full health if I didn't have Lex Corp. But Lex Corp, and with the shield from Lex Corp activate, and just keep in mind, just a level three or level four. I forgot again, Lex Corp. Uh, at, at high level, it will be just so much better. And yeah, this is not the 
the S scarecrow gameplay, but I just wanted to showcase the use of this artifact. And overall, at the end of the day, the damage will not be the highest I've done. Like, I think the highest I've done was with uh, level 10 Clause of Force in Classic Superman, but uh, yet again, it was a level 10 Clause of Force compared to a level 3 or level 4 Lex Corp. And uh, uh, I would need Armor Pierce on basic attacks to perform optimally with this, even with the uh, level 10 Lex Corp. But yeah. And the real problem that I sometimes encounter is that uh, my armor pierce chance doesn't work. But uh, it's okay, at higher level I'll have better odds, obviously. Though they take a huge amount of materials to upgrade, and that's not a great thing. So I would love if I would randomly drop a level 7 Lex Corp uh, from Soul Raids instead of like the 30th Amulet of Agility. But yeah, nevertheless, this is going well enough, like at, at this point, the gameplay is going to be exactly the same as if you were to use any other artifact. The only difference with this playstyle is that it's more forgiving to mistakes, because uh, you might say that I'm low health, but I haven't even died once. Like, the usual gameplay with King is that you die once and then you regenerate and continue from then on. I can still die and revive at this point, and it's almost the end of the fight. And uh, the only things that are a question here is the damage on basic, uh, the overall damage increase because of Scarecrow's high defense going to be good enough and uh, am I going to uh, deal uh, not so much damage on basic attacks. But yeah, nevertheless, it is what it is, this is the damage and let's get into some final conclusions on the artifact. Oh yeah, so it's actually a level 4, there we go, but yeah, overall thoughts on this artifact. I think it's a very good artifact overall, and I would say that uh, overall it is easily better than the uh, crypto the Kryptonite Spear, but uh, just keep in mind that I have uh, both of them at level 4, things might change along the way, all the way to level 10, but I think for the most part, like in some specific scenarios, especially as a damage dealing artifact, granted you have 10 Kryptonite artifacts equipped on a character, because I... Uh, if you don't, uh, you, you have three Kryptonite artifacts at level 10 or one, at the very least uh, two at level 10 and one of them at uh, above level 5 equipped on the character or even higher than that. Unless you have that, you're most likely going to use all blades uh, in Krypton Soul Raids. But other than that specific scenario where your character is beefed up only with full Krypton artifacts where the Kryptonite Spear will deal more more damage most likely. I think this uh, this is the best artifact of the Krypton artifacts that we have right now. A very good artifact. Uh, again, Beta Club is better, but that might get nerfed in the future. And yeah, definitely a solid choice of investment. Having a lot of fun in Arena with it. It's kind of useful against Scarecrow in raids, though. Clause of Horus performs kind of the same, though it's a little bit more risky. So you don't have to have this to fight Scarecrow. And in Soul Raids, against some fights, it can be particularly useful. But it's not. Um, it's at the end of the day, it's not a must-have artifact. But it's an artifact that you'll be very happy if you have. So with that being said... Like and subscribe if you enjoy what you saw. Dislike if you dislike it. Maybe hit that bell button. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.